What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? I've got something really cool to show you guys here today. This is the Sea Mule Wade Fishing Cart. Now, you guys see me in a lot of my videos going out fishing, and most times I don't bring anything more than a wade fishing belt or a sling bag, but I do have my boat nearby that I mothership and kind of grab other gear from between wades. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't have a boat or you do decide to just go out and step out of your car and start wading, it can be tough to bring everything you need for a full day of fishing. So we partnered with Sea Mule because we saw that was something that would be really helpful for our insiders who don't have those boats and get you guys 20% off on these carts, but no product is perfect and we are completely unbiased regardless of partnership. So I'm going to be sharing three pros and three cons of this cart with you guys today so you can understand exactly what you do get with this cart and where it can be useful if you are going to take one out on your next fishing trip. So the main part of the cart, this big molded plastic here, is actually really lightweight. It looks super heavy. In fact, when I first got it in the mail, I was a little bit surprised at how large it was, uh, but it is really lightweight. They kept it really light, which is nice, but I was also surprised at how well it handles waves and chop. My big worry was that when this was out on the water, if a boat came through the channel, it was going to flip the cart or do a lot of splashing, and it rode the waves really well, even when some of the bigger sport boats came by. Now, when you do get this cart, you do have the two rod holders that are up front. You can kind of moving them around. You can see there's slots right here to kind of customize exactly what you want on here. Now what I've done is put those up top just because I don't want them to get splashed. You do have the opportunity to put them down over here as well and when I'm handling fish or I just have a rod that's set out fishing live bait, generally I do put it right there. But they made this cart really customizable to how you like to fish, which I really enjoy. It's got a lot of different modularity to it. And in addition to that, you've got a spot where you can put a live bait bucket. So if you wanted a bucket with an aerator you can slide it right down in there. I don't use an aerator, but if I wanted to drop some bait in there, that'd be really nice. And there are two slots in the back where you can put live bait nets, uh, which is really cool because you can have three different types of bait out on your wading cart. If you've got shrimp, mullet, and white bait, pilchards, whatever it may be, you can have three different types of bait completely separate of each other, which is really nice if you are a live bait angler. Now there is spots for a live bait cooler as well. You can see my cooler unfortunately does not fit in there, but I believe it was sized for or one of the smaller angle coolers, and then a spot for you to put your tackle box right in the middle. There's some cup holders as well. Overall, it's a very simple design, but it is nice because you can get around to everything really easily. There's also a ruler right on the side so that when you want to measure fish, you can do that pretty easily as well. So in addition to the main cart, I did pick up the tackle station that you can purchase separately. It's got some nice spots for you to put tackle. You can hang hooks from it. Uh, you've got your pliers station over here. This is actually a cutting board and some dry storage in here, or if you need to put more baits, things of that nature. They've got a lot of different compartments that are pretty nifty. So I did pick up this extra station right here. It also allows me to mount my rods a little bit higher on the cart on top of the main bar. But this was a, a nice little addition that I did pick up uh, after the fact. So the big three pros I would have to give this cart, number one, it's going to make a live bait angler's journey out onto the flats a lot easier with the different separations of bait, the ability to have multiple rods set up at one time. You know, you can have a live bait set up out fishing while you're using artificial lures or you're actively fishing some other live bait. In fact, today, while I was fishing for redfish, I had a cork out with a shrimp under it and it was sitting right here in this rod holder and I was able to run back over, grab that rod as soon as I saw it doubling over and reel that fish in. So I literally was able to use the cart itself to catch a fish, which was really, really nice. Second thing, I'll say it's uh, really lightweight. I was surprised by how light it is. You can easily move it around with these sidebars right here uh, and it is just a lot easier to kind of navigate and move around with. Uh, all you have to do is put one of these little ropes on here. I used a D-ring or you can anchor it with one of those shallow water anchor pins. However you use to move around with it, it's lightweight and agile. Now the third pro of this is really just the fact that it allows you to have everything you need out for a day of fishing even if you don't have a boat. I was never able to bring out a second setup when I went wading just because I'm always walking around in deeper water. My wade belt that does have a rod holder on it, it's just always going to get wet and I was able to put these rods up here, have different tacks have everything that I needed on this cart ready to rock and roll. I could literally walk down an entire shoreline all day long and never have to go back to my truck. So for somebody that doesn't have a boat or anything extra that they can carry all their equipment with, especially if you're a live bait angler, I'd say that would be the big three pros of this cart. So let's talk about the cons. And I'll say right at $200, the price point that's on this wade fishing cart, it is a little bit high. If you're not getting the insider discount on this, this might be a little bit much to ask when you could technically just take out a troll bucket, one of those bait buckets you can tie to your waist and go walk around with it. Granted, you don't get the extra setups that you can bring or the cooler or anything like that, uh, but you still can 
accomplish wading with bait uh, without one of these carts. Now, again, this does make your life easier if you're willing to pay that, being able to bring out multiple setups, have the ruler on your cart. There's a lot of nice things you do get out of it, but for $200, that might be a bit much to ask from some folks. Now, that may not be for everybody. I will say that if you are a serious wade fisherman, this could be a great investment for you, but again, I will say one of the cons would be the initial price. Now, the second con I would say is that if you're an artificial angler, this might not be the thing for you because really you can bring everything out that you need in a wade fishing belt. Just a small pack of soft plastics, maybe a top water or a spoon, all that can fit in a fanny pack, sling bag, wade belt, uh, unless you really need a cooler or you want to bring out multiple setups. I will say most times wade fishing, I'm not able to bring out more than one single rod because of the rod holder that's on your sling bag or your waist is going to get dunked. Uh, in the areas that we fish most times it's about to your belly button so chances are that rod's going to get dunked and ruin your equipment. So if you're able to fish with one rod, one reel and a few simple lures, the job can still be accomplished without the wade fishing cart. So I would say if you're an artificial angler, this might not be the move for you. Now the last con I'll say is that if you're fishing with the wind and you don't have this anchor down, it's going to get in your way. So if you're trying to cast with the wind down a shoreline like most wade fishermen do, uh, you're going to find that this is going to ride with the wind because it is floatable. It's going to move downwind. Uh, it's going to get in your way if you tie it to yourself. Now the solution to that would be just anchor it down with a stick it pin, but then you run into the same situation if you are a wade fisherman with a boat. It's kind of like you kind of got to move it and it's the same kind of problem you run into. So that would be the third con is that if you are fishing really windy days, this is going to ride with that wind and it's going to get in your way if you're fishing straight downwind. But a lot of times you can solve that by fishing crosswind or positioning yourself so that you are casting kind of more diagonal instead of straight into the wind and you can still use your wade cart with ease. So overall I'd say if you're a live bait angler who's looking to have a much better time on the flats by having everything really nice and organized, having more opportunities for live bait and the ability to fish multiple setups at one time, this could be an awesome product for you to try out. But if you're an artificial angler, the jury's still out and I'll leave it to the angler themselves to make that decision. You might want the cooler, you might want them extra setups. It could be something useful for you, but again, I will leave that to the angler to decide. I've had a great time fishing with this cart and I'm gonna continue using it, but I do wanna remind you guys, if you are an insider, you get 20% off of these carts at saltstrong.com. Just by being an insider, we've got tons of great discounts on tons of amazing products. So definitely go check that discount out and pick one of these up if you think it's gonna help you with your fishing. So guys, thank you again so much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the number one online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee we're gonna help you catch more fish, save money on tackle, and help you make friends fast, or it's free. Thanks again for watching, and we're hoping to see you in the Insider Club family soon.